kids, I am Dr. Seymour Patience, the leading doctor of all things medicine. Last week, Dr. S. Muddy Pants made his claim as the leading doctor of all things medicine. But evidenced by my name, I clearly see more patients than Dr. S. Muddy Pants. Thus, I clearly am the leading doctor of all things medicine. And we are on our second lesson of our series on healing. Today, we will clearly answer the question, is God too busy to heal me? In a little bit, Pastor Karina will come with the Bible story. And then Pastor Steve will come with the rest of our lesson. But right now, I'm going to hand it off to your favorite YouTuber, Ashton. Hey everybody, it's your favorite YouTuber, Ashton, here for another video. As always, if you like my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get started. We are at... <gasps> Wow, we're almost at 100,000 subscribers. That's amazing. Oh, wait, <laughs> my bad, it's only six subscribers. Well, we'll get there someday. Okay, let's look at one of your questions. Mork the Dork asks, Hey Ashton, how do you make slime? Great question, Mork the Dork. Let's take a quick search and see. Okay, it looks like you need glue, contact solution, baking soda, water, shaving cream, and food coloring. Let me go see what I have around my house. Okay, I'm back. I've got good news and bad news. The good news is we're going to make some slime today, but the bad news is I couldn't really find any of the ingredients we needed, so I just got some stuff to use instead. Now remember, the real recipe calls for glue, contact solution, baking soda, water, shaving cream, and food coloring. But instead I have maple syrup, that's sticky, right? It's basically the same thing as glue. And then I have hand sanitizer, that should work. Diet soda instead of baking soda. Oh, I did get water, which is in the real recipe, so we're totally on the right track. And then I have whipped cream instead of shaving cream, which is basically the same thing. And I couldn't find any food coloring, so I just got this old crayon from one of my old backpacks. This is totally gonna work. Let's mix it up. Well, I tried mixing all of this together and... <coughs> Instead of slime, I think I got something that's really more like just a sludge. Let's just get another question. Droolmaster23 asks, Hey Ashton, I know God has a lot to do, you know, being God and all, so is he too busy to heal me? Huh, what a great question. You know, sometimes I wonder that myself. We should jump on the internet and see if there was a time in the Bible where Jesus was too busy to heal someone. Was Jesus too busy for people? Oh, there's a lot of hits on this. Hmm, it looks like after he was done preaching one time, Jesus fed everyone with a ton of bread and fish. Oh, and here's one where he stopped what he was doing to heal a guy that was lowered through the roof. That must have been crazy to see. So it looks like Jesus made time for people while he was here on earth. I wonder if he still does that. I think your lesson today is going to cover that exact question. I can't wait to find out. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Ashton, do you know where my big bowl is? Uh, yeah. I hope you don't need it soon. What you gotta know, what you gotta know. Time for Boudreaux, what you gotta know. What you gotta know. Hey, what's up kids? It's Boudreau here. That's pronounced Boudreau. And I'm here to tell you what you gotta know. Today, we're answering the very next question in our healing series. Is God too busy to heal me? So anytime today you hear somebody ask you what you gotta know, you tell them this. God ain't too busy to heal me. God's got a lot to do. That's a huge job that he has. I mean, he's got a lot to do. Every single morning, he's gotta get up and turn on the sun Make sure that the world keeps spinning round and round and round and make sure all the woodland creatures got a little afternoon snack. I mean, that's a lot to do. You know, even though he's got a whole lot to do and he's got a real full plate, he ain't too busy to hear the prayers of children. Hey, guy, are you listening to me? Of course he's listening every 
single time. He hears you and he wants to heal you. So every time you hear somebody ask you what you got to know, you tell them this. God ain't too busy to heal me. Well, and that right there is what you got to know. I'm Boudreaux from the Bayou saying bye-bye you. hey -o. what you got to know? God ain't too busy to heal me. Hey, kids, it's me, Dr. Seymour Patience. It is so good to see you. <laughs> well, anyways, that was a wonderful job with the What You Gotta Know. I saw you. <laughs> anyways, kids, don't forget when you see Boudreau to hop to your feet and say the What You Gotta Know. Right now, we are going to worship Jesus and sing a worship song to him. So hop to your feet and sing loud.
Hi kids, it's Pastor Karina. Check out your Bibles because today we're going to be in the book of Mark chapter 5. Jesus was teaching a very large crowd of people when a local Jewish leader named Jairus showed up. He ran up to Jesus, fell at his feet, and began to plead with him, Jesus, my little daughter is dying. Please come and lay your hands on her. Heal her so she can live. Even though Jesus was busy teaching, he agreed to come to Jairus' house to heal his daughter. As Jesus began to walk to Jairus' house, the crowd of people began to follow him. In that crowd, there was a woman who had a disease that made her bleed nonstop. She had suffered from the disease for 12 long years. Can you imagine bleeding nonstop for 12 years? She could barely get through the crowd, but she made it up to Jesus. She reached out and touched a piece of Jesus's robe. Right then, Jesus stopped. Everyone, including his disciples, wondered that what was Jesus doing? Why did he stop? Didn't he know that there was a dying little girl who needed his help? If he waited too long, she might die. But Jesus had felt the touch of the sick, bleeding woman. He stopped and he said, who touched my clothes? The disciples said, Lord, there are many people around. Of course, someone touched your clothes. It's crowded. Jesus said, no, someone touched me who needed healing. He looked around until he saw the woman with the issue of the blood. She fell at Jesus' feet and said, Lord, it was me who touched you. I felt I could just touch your robe, then I would be healed. Jesus looked at her and said, woman, your faith has made you whole. Go and be healed. Your suffering is over. Wow, Jesus had time to stop to heal this woman even when there was a dying girl waiting for him. The amazing ending of this story is that Jesus was able to heal Jairus' daughter too. So in this lesson today, we're going to learn that God is definitely not too busy to help us when we need him. If you or someone you know needs healing from sickness or hurts, listen closely to today's lesson. Hey, oh, what you gotta know? God ain't too busy to heal me. Hey kids, it's me, just in time with your Canyon Kids breaking news. Congratulations for this week's Brain Drain Quiz winner, Joy Champlin. Way to go, Joy. Kids, make sure you go and download the Brain Drain Quiz and answer those questions correctly to be entered to win a prize. Secondly, remember kids, last week we announced we have a hope group just for kids. If you want more information or to join that hope group, go to the Canyon Kids Facebook page and click on the link. Or you can go to CanyonHills.com and click on the link for Canyon Kids Hope Group. This just in. This week, we want to see you post a video of you saying the power burst. Now, we have a little spin on it. The more creative you get, the more entries you get into the drawing to win an amazing prize. Once again, post a video of yourself saying the power burst creatively to get more entries to win that amazing prize. Don't forget, kids, lastly, to register for Kids Camp Live. It's only $5 a camper. For more information, go to the Kenyan Kids Facebook page. That's it for this week, kids. That's me signing off just in time for Kenyan Kids Breaking News. Thank you, thank you, oh, you're too kind. Please, hold your applause. Yes, I am the actor and I'm here to teach today's power verse. So without further ado, let's get to it. In his unfailing love, my God will come and help me. Psalm 59, 10? 
What a stupendous power verse. But if there's one thing I have learned, it's that you will never forget your lines or the power verse in this instance if you say them completely in character. To help us, let's select today's character from our character box. Ah, yes! Today's character we will be playing is a truck driver with a goose stuck in its throat. <laughs> Acting, thank you! It doesn't say that at all. Today's character is actually a robot. Ha! Beep boop, beep boop. I am a robot. Boys and girls, please stand with me on the count of three and say today's power verse in character. Like a robot. One, two, three. In his unfailing love, my God will come and help me. Psalm 59, 10. Acting, thank you, that was fantastic. You're on your way to becoming as great of a method actor as I am. Acting, thank you, you believed me, but no one will be as great of an actor as I am, for I am the greatest method actor in all of the world. I'll see you later, boys and girls. Exit. Stage left. Hey, kids, it's me. Dr. C, more patience. That reminds me, I just saw you do an incredible job with the power verse. And I also saw my last patient, a horse named Alfred, with a crusted booger way up in his left nostril. But I reached up there and got it out. At any rate, kids, Pastor Steve is coming with the rest of the lesson. Put your listening ears on, because we know it's going to be great. Hey, kids, Pastor Steve here. And we're going to continue our lesson on answering the question, is God too busy to heal me? You know what, kids? I have a pretty busy life. I have a lot of stuff going on here at the church uh, with different ministries that I'm responsible for. I have things with my kids, running them around town and taking them places that they where they need to go. Um, and sometimes it's really hard to keep everything straight. So you know what I do? I make a list. I write things down everything that I need to do, my to-do list. And as I, as I write these things down and then as I complete them, I cross them off my list. I'm pretty busy. And if my, my schedule has this on it, can you imagine what God's to-do list must look like? He is responsible for so much and his list must be huge. He is not just super busy. He is super duper busy, if you know what I mean. And you know what, guys? You wouldn't blame God if sometimes he got too busy to help someone in need, right? Well, you know what? That's not how God works. We've already learned from Pastor Karina in our Bible story today that God is never too busy to help those in need. Even when he is helping someone else, he is still able to help you. And that's pretty awesome. God is never too busy, and God is always able. You know what, kids? There are some pretty important things that we can learn from our Bible story today. The first one is this. Don't let anything keep you from Jesus. You know, the woman with the, the bleeding disease, she wouldn't let anything stop her. She pushed her way through the crowd so, so that she could get to Jesus. She knew that Jesus could heal her and she wasn't going to let anyone or anything stop her. She knew it wouldn't be easy. She knew that she would have to squeeze through the crowd and maybe even get down and crawl on her hands and knees. She was sick and she was weak, but that was not going to stop her from getting to the one who could heal her. In the same way, kids, don't let anything keep you from the one that can heal you, Jesus. Not your fears, not your doubts, not what your friends may say. Don't let anyone or anything keep you from Jesus. Our second point is this. Jesus will always have time for you. What was Jesus doing in our Bible story today? Well, at first, he was teaching. But Jesus stopped his busy teaching schedule to go heal Jairus' daughter. And it was on his way to go heal Jairus' daughter that he was stopped again 
to heal the woman with the bleeding disease. Sometimes we may think that Jesus is taking way too long or ask, why isn't Jesus doing what I need him to do for me right now? But you know what, kids? Jesus doesn't work like we do. He doesn't work like that. But what he does do is he always does things at just the right time. Jesus is never too busy, and he always has time for you and for someone in need. We just need to call out to him, and he will always be there for you. The third point for today's lesson is this. One touch from Jesus changes everything. All it took from the woman with the bleeding disease was one touch from Jesus, and it changed everything. One touch, and the woman stopped bleeding. One touch, and her life was completely changed. One touch, and she was completely healed. And one touch can change it all for you too. Remember kids, Jesus wants to help you. God is never too busy to heal you. All we need to do is call on him. He will hear you and he will help you. Don't let anything keep you from him. And all it takes is one touch. Isn't God amazing? One touch can change everything. God loves you and he is always there to help you. What a great word from Pastor Steve, boys and girls. Clearly, God has time to heal me just as he did with the woman with the bleeding disease. Remember, boys and girls, God is never too busy for you. Oh, do you hear that? I think they're paging me. I must get going. At any rate, boys and girls, join us next week as we continue our series on healing. Ciao!